Oh, it works now. Look at that. Registered to Highland, Windows XP version 2002, professional. 2.62 gigabytes of RAM. There we are. No um, wireless card on this. There we go, everything's there. Programs. There we go, everything's working proper now. Crystal Disk Info. Safety Tune. Benchmark this drive. Yeah, about 30 megabytes per second for an 11 year old drive. Smart. Half is good. All good, good condition drive. Let's go quick scan. Just for demonstration purposes. Definitely a good hard drive. Given the amount of hours it's on it being a school computer, <laughs> an ex school computer hard drive, I think it was on pretty much all the time. So, yeah. yeah. That was about 2004. We had commonly had um, 40 and 80 gigabyte drives. Man, I might have thought that was a lot of, lot of capacity then. Hmm. My resolution. Only basic stuff here. This, that's all you get. Let's see if it's a portion on the disc. It should. That's a bit better. Let's see more now. But yeah, it's not as good as on the CD. This is just what's on the arm. Um, it's running just generic stuff off the CD or the drivers are generic. It's all good. All good. Good, good drive. I should be able to um, try and install Windows 10 on here now. Look at that, install the hardware. There we go. Yeah, see? Page fault. There's no um, page file that exists somewhere. If it's virtual RAM fault, we shit. Ah oh, well. I'm going to spit that disk out, put the Windows 10 one in. Windows 10 one doesn't work, I put the um, Zorin OS 10 core. It's just, just a new release of Zion, so I'll put that on there. Um, there you go, let's see how it goes, eh? Should be better now that the hard drive's been wiped. Not sure why that was stopping everything from working, even though I wasn't booting off it at, at all. Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Everything's working fine now. That's weird, because why would a hard drive with a corrupted installer of Windows 7 on it stop CDs from booting properly? I mean, the priorities in the BIOS are all set to boot only from the CD drive. <laughs> Yet, wipe on the hard drive seems to have, uh, whatever it was, it's just there. It, it works fine now. I don't know, weird. Anyway, it's so a good space heater for me. Let's see how good Zorin OS 10 is. Apparently they've made a lot of improvements on it. It's a 64-bit, not the 32-bit crap it had before. So it should be a lot better and a lot faster. I'm going to have to shut the other computer down so I can uh, use the Wi-Fi thingy off that and update this one. See how it goes. But um, I've got a good disk of Windows 10. But um, yeah, it doesn't want to, doesn't want to launch it. It wouldn't ever launch a technical preview on this one. Probably because this board's a bit old. Damn it. Oh well, it was worth trying. Looks like this is a Windows 7 only. That's about all it goes up to on that old board from 2005. Oh well, speak with Zion Linux machine. Anyway, I'll give this some time to load and then we'll uh, see how we go. Yeah, well, uh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> um. I'm going to use this info recorder. I've had great success with this um, program. So, let's give that a try. I'm re-burning another copy of um, 
uh, Windows 10. Let's see if it goes any better because um, this burnt one here doesn't, doesn't seem to want to work. It gets to the Windows screen. The uh, Windows logo pops up in the middle of the screen. It just sits there and it doesn't do anything else. I pulled a CD out and yeah, it hangs. That Ned Kelly's, so to speak. So yeah, I'll try burning another one with another program and see if that makes a difference. Info recorder is a lot smarter. It puts it ISO properly as an actual real certified um, legit disc would be. So works good for burning Linux ISO discs too. They are um, one of the Linux uh, one of the Linux forums anyway. I read somewhere recommended this as a the top best to burn with. So easy to use, and it's just yeah, no nonsense bullshit. It just gets cut straight to the chase and does a good job. There's a bit of um, controversy whether this tracks you or not, but uh, yeah, it doesn't. It just come from all from uh, all from some Linux buddy or Linux nerds saying, "Oh, don't you just want? Don't you just want?" But if you're worried, worried about it, I think it's in here, privacy, turn all these things off. So I said marks of info about how I write. Yeah, always leave these off. If you're worried about being tracked and stuff, even though Google pretty much tracks us anyway. Location should be off. Turn all those off. Clear the histories, yes. I don't want my location shared. Make sure that's off, that's off. I'm going to change that to off. I don't need to use it, I don't want people tracking me, so that's all you got to do. Well, um, I don't have a camera, but that's alright. Unless I plug a webcam in, I'm going to be um, spied on. I'm not going to worry me now, because I haven't got another microphone or cam camera plugged into the computer. So. Let's see, getting to know you. Um, yeah, stop getting to know me. Yes. Don't like that. See, all these little things here you gotta look into. Um, nah. Contacts. Mm, don't need, I haven't got any on here. Don't have any contacts on there. Radios. Nothing on there anyway, so I'm not sure to touch that. Mass storage devices. Feedback, because that action center pops up and asks for feedback, so never. Send your device out of the Microsoft. background apps. Now Microsoft Edge is always on on here. What it's doing, I don't know. Um, there, I'll turn all those off. I don't want them on. Well, the printer, yeah, I use it sometimes. I'm not using Office, I've already got Donny. Uh, don't use that. I just use Google, so I don't need that. Turn Edge off. Don't use that. I'm not using that. That. Photos. Well, I can access that any time anyway, so I can turn that off. That off. And the Xbox off. And just leave the settings on. Yeah, little things like that you gotta do. And that should make me more private and no one's gonna track me. See, if I wanna get a file photos anyway, I just go bang there and they're there. Well, I have it running all the time. It's just stupid. Anyway, that will free up me um, resources in the system too, so I'll run at its peak then. Other than those little things, it's uh, been a pretty good upload system so far. Maybe that um, image file I downloaded off Microsoft is uh, corrupted. Because I downloaded the disk version to burn the ISA so I could install Windows 10 on another PC. And that um, ISA must be corrupted because, um, yeah. It gets another copy of that info recorder, stuffed around for a bit, and it doesn't read it at all. 
It will get to the um, Windows logo on the screen, that's it, it just stays there. It doesn't do anything else. So it's odd this computer is not, um, it won't work with Windows 10 or it's uh, a bad um, ISO file. So yeah. Bit of a shame, I would have hoped this thing was going to run Windows 10, but looks like our operating system is probably too new for this machine to run. This thing will only support Windows 7, that's it. That's the newest operating system that this 11-year-old um, uh, machine can run. It's a shame. Would have been nice to stick Windows 10 on here. Would have been good too. Oh well. That'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching. Ah, good day, viewers. Um, we've formatted this 40 gig Western Digital caviar, and now this thing will boot up everything on the Highlands boot CD. Now it turns out that um, the Windows 7 in installation on that hard drive was just stopping this and everything from working for some stupid reason. Even though I was booting completely from the CD, now it's working. Oh um, yeah, there a mouse. <laughs> I need a mouse. I'm getting somewhere now. I'm not sure why the uh, Windows installation on that, that divot, that, um, why it stopped, but <laughs> it doesn't blue screen anymore. Oh, I gotta find a mouse.